What is up guys, it's LickSkillsHD here and today I'll be showing you how to set up DS4 Windows which is a program that allows you to use your PS4 controller on any game that does not support controllers like way back I made a video on how to use your controller with a Steam and some games will not allow controller support so this is what you can use as an alternative so you can still use it so First thing you're going to do, you're going to go to ds4windows.com I'll put the link in the description if you don't know how to spell <laughs> Alright, anyway, you'll click download And you'll go on ds4windows.zip You'll download that, which is, that was fast Okay, so you go to your files And <laughs> some of the stuff I have my downloads for Anyway, you'll extract that and then you go ds4windows.exe run that stuff and when you first run it you'll go to settings and controller slash driver setup you'll want to install the ds4 driver or else it's not going to work and it'll start installing Install complete, finish that, and now you'll plug in your controller via USB or Bluetooth. Okay, so now that you've connected your controller, doesn't matter if it's Bluetooth or if it's a uh, USB. I connect mine to USB, but doesn't matter. You, know, you go to your controllers tab, and it might not show up for a minute, so you just click stop and click start. But It'll be the first one on the list, or at least, yeah. Then you click on the edit button, and this is where you can map all your controls. Depending on what game you are going to be playing, it'll be different, of course. But, I'm going to, for this tutorial, I'll just do the input mapping for MW2, which is pretty similar to most uh, first-person shooter games, so I'm just going to do this. If you want it for other games, just look up DS4 Windows input maps for and then pipe in your game name. So, I'm gonna do the input mapping for NW2. Time to map the keys. This is for NW2. So to map to start mapping keys, you'll just press the key on the controller that you want to map, and we can get that working. So on the controller, um, let's start with this X X. That's going to be the space bar, so click the space bar and that'll go away. The circle, that's going to be the C, so you can crouch. The square, now that's going to be reloading. The triangle, that will be, yeah, let's say the E button. And the options button, let's go with that next. That's going to be escape. The share button, let's say that's the tab button see so all's on and stuff um all right let's do the bump let's do the bumpers the bumper uh over here to the left let's say that's gonna be q the one over here let's say that's gonna be g and let's do the triggers now this one over here, which is going to be aim, that will be right mouse. And then this one over here, that will be left mouse. Um, next off, we're going to do these, which will be the score streaks. So up will be one, left will be two right will be four and down will be three now we're gonna set up the moving around controls this is probably one of the easiest ones but also takes more effort so you'll go up and you're gonna want to choose this over here 
No, sorry. Not that. Not that, actually. You're going to want to do over here, because that's as if you're moving your mouse up. Then go down. You're going to click this over here, which is as if you're moving your mouse down. Then left. Moving your mouse left. Right. Moving your mouse right. Now make sure that you don't click these, though, because that is what you use for shooting and stuff. So don't get that mixed up. <clears throat> now if you click on this button that'll be your melee which is V alright now you'll do the other controls for moving go up that'll be W down S left A this way D <coughs> <coughs> All right. When I press this, this will be the sprint. So all I'm gonna do L shift or just sprint on there. And let's see. Am I missing any buttons? No, I'm not. So you'll just click Save Profile, and now you can start using it. Now you can also use this on your desktop, but the sensitivity may be a little bit down. And you use this as you're shooting, which is that. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this was kind of long for me to make, because I had to do lots of stopping the video and all that stuff. And, you know, mess with the PS4 controller. But anyway, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you do, of course, like it. If you don't, I guess dislike it. But don't, d please don't dislike it, because I don't like that. Um... <laughs> Yeah, also another thing is that this video was recorded in 1080p, not 720p like my old videos because I got a new um, software to record my videos with on my computer, so it is now HD.